JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Dean Perrine and welcome to JSA TV. We are coming to you live from the show floor in, uh, in the Big Apple at the Telecom Exchange event. And I am here with Mr. Patrick Coughlin. Now, Patrick is the SVP of Sales and Marketing for First Light Fiber. Patrick, thanks for joining us on JSA TV. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So the theme of this uh, of our discussion is going to be uh, growth expansion. Um, earlier this year, um, you were acquired by Oak Hill Capital Partners. Um, why don't you talk to us a little bit about that acquisition and how it's going to help you grow? Sure. Well, we're obviously we're very excited about the acquisition with Oak Hill. Uh, we expect it will close sometime in late July, but in the meantime, they've been very supportive with us and our team. Um, with expansion, not only organically, but more importantly, inorganically, about opportunities across our footprint that would add capillarity to uh, the existing fiber plant. Fantastic. Okay, so again, the theme is growth. So I understand that you guys have um, you, uh, announced service expansion to New York's Westchester, Rockland, and Orange counties in 2016. Um, is there any further development in that area? So our, the plan was always, um, when we uh, designed and built the network, it was really designed for some large wireless carriers. Mm -hmm. And now the plan is leverage that fiber network to go after some of the uh, existing uh, enterprise and large, we'll call it verticals within that region. So, you know, the game plan is we've secured some of the, the wireless uh, contracts that we needed, but now it's really going after and leveraging for enterprise customers in and around that region. We think there's a great opportunity. Outstanding. And so uh, no sales team, as you're the SVP of one of those at a, at a big company, uh, is complete without a good channel program. Can you talk to us a little bit about your, your channel program? Sure. Well, we're very excited about the channel program. It was one we kicked off at the start of the year. Mm -hmm. We have added approximately 10 new partners uh, on the agent side. And again, we see that as just another tool in our quiver to be able to expand our footprint and grab a lot of the opportunities that our direct sales force um, just doesn't have um, because, again, in the aging community, a lot of them have relationships long standing that we don't have. Outstanding, yes. Um, so let's talk about the future a little bit. Uh, it, it, we're literally only halfway through 2016 and lots of things happening there at First Light Fiber. Well, what, what does it, look at the crystal ball. What does it look like, say, a year from now? Uh, the one thing I can predict with uh, a certainty is our map is going to change. Yeah. Um, we are going to expand our footprint, whether it's uh, an expansion program like we did in Westchester, Rockland County, or uh, in, in another state. But also, I could see us, I could see acquisitions being announced over the next 12 months that would certainly add additional fiber footprint and opportunities for our sales teams across the board. Very cool. Uh, thank you very much, Patrick. You heard it here first, folks. Patrick, thank you very much for joining us on JSA TV. Thank you, and thank JSA for putting on this event uh, in New York. It's a great event. Very good. Uh, so you're in, uh, enjoying the show so far? I am. Uh, Absolutely. Very good. Very good. Uh, good networking opportunity. This for is a, one of the better networking shows that's put on in our industry. Yeah. Um, we've done it over the course of the last couple of years. So again, I see us going forward is using this again as a tool. Um, to, to get the word out about First Light. So thank you. Outstanding. Thank you, Patrick. You're hired. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Thank and, and thank you, viewers, for uh, watching JSA TV. We'll see you soon.